Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. It's the Geek Girl Cook here. Today in this kitchen, we are going to be doing no cooking. That's right, I said it. Wait a minute. There is going to be a little cooking. A little tiny, tiny tad bit of cooking. But our main focus today is going to be on some guacamole. Alright, holy moly, guacamole. Alright, it's going to be so easy. <sighs> Let's get started. All right, let's get right started. <clears throat> These are the avocados. Now, one of the reasons I am making this is because I can feel that they're getting a little too soft. So right now, I can't tell you how many I'm gonna use. But on this plate, we have tomatoes, we have red onions, and we have cilantro. All right, that's gonna go inside the, the avocado. And then we have two limes. And we have salt and pepper. And a little bit of cayenne, a little heat. All right, so we're gonna get started with our avocado. Now, I always, well not always, but a lot of times, I'll be grabbing them little bowls. I would like to do it out of a glass bowl, but I don't have a glass bowl right now that, that will work. The size that I need, it won't work. So, now let me tell you something. I see a lot of people cut this, and then they stick the knife inside the seed, and then they get the seed out that way. Nah, 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 nah. I'll get the seed out the best way I can. All right? And the best way I can is with a cotton picking spoon. All right, there we go. Let me see what this avocado looking like. Yeah. It started to go black a little. Let me see. I'm just gonna see if I can save it. Yep, I saved it. <laughs> I'm gonna do this next side, which is a better side. It don't have, well, I got some black spots, but not much. All right, and I'm gonna do another one. Again, I'm gonna get the seed out the best way I can. It ain't gonna be the fancy way. It's gonna be with this here spoon. Lordy, lordy, lordy. That's why it's always good to have clean hands because you don't know when you're gonna use them. On your food, that is. <laughs> you always use your hands. This is a little soft, so let's do this one. Let's see what this looks like. Like I said, they was getting a little too soft, and I'm trying to see if I could salvage them. Oh, yeah. All right. You ain't got to worry about my hands because this is my stuff right here. This is my sh sugar honey iced tea. All right, so I'm just going to use these three. All right. I'll be right back because I need to wash my hands again. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Right now, I'm going to mash this up with a potato masher. All right. I don't really want it like too chunky. Some people like it chunky. I don't. All right. I think I could use another avocado in here. I'm gonna put one more in there. Seem like such a little bit. Let me see, is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Yes, it's good. Ow, ow. That's a hole. That's not... Wait a minute. Okay. All 
All right. So, I kind of like mine's creamy. You know, a little on the creamy side. Some people like it chunky. Okay, that's good enough. Now, what you have to do, you have to put line on this. So, it won't start turning brown. You don't want it to turn colors on you. You need to do that as soon as you, you know, mash it up. I'm going to put a whole lime in there. Ooh, that one was juicy. All right. So we're just going to mash that up. I mean, mix it up. All right. Yes. So the next thing, we have the cilantro. That's about a quarter, uh, about a quarter cup of cilantro. This is a, about a quarter of a purple slash red onion. And this is a small tomato. All right, we're gonna get at a nice mixing. Looking good. Some people probably didn't know it was this easy. But it is. I'm kind of turning it in. You can do that if you want. But I think it, um, because it's already creamy, I don't want nothing. I don't want mush. So, right now I'm going to put some salt. I would say about a teaspoon of salt. Not that much salt. About a teaspoon of pepper. Now, this is optional. I just wanted a little spice with mine. I'm going to put... A teaspoon of cayenne pepper that's optional you don't have to do that all right believe it or not this is finito okay so let me just give it a little taste. Mm. That's good. But you know what I need more? I want more onion. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm only going to put about this much more onions in it. I don't want to have onion overkill. And that's it. <laughs> you see how easy that was? That was so delicious. So I'm going to transfer it into this bowl. Mm, so delicious. So, this is going to go in the fridge. So, I'm going to put a little more lime over it before I 
put it away. Now the next step is important. Important. Now if you have a cover for your bowl, all right, good. But before you put that cover on, my advice to you, this is very necessary and it cannot be skipped. Take a piece of plastic, put it on it, but you want it to touch your guac. It will save this from turning brown. Trust me. You see how it's on it, how I put it down on it? It's touching. That's what I'm expecting you to do. All right? And then if you have a cover, you can put the cover on it. But put this plastic wrap over your guap or it will be brown. All right? We're going to work on our tortilla chips when I get back. This is going in the refrigerator right now. All right, so I'm back. So this is going to be our chip. Now, it's always better if you have the smaller ones. That way you can cut them in fours. But I don't have that, so we're going to cut this up the best way we can. All right? We'll put a little flour because I'm going to use this table right here. Just a little bit, nothing big. I'm going to get my pizza cutter. Usually it'll go in fours if it was the smaller one, but we don't have the smaller one. So this is how we're going to do this. See? This is simple. I already had these in the freezer. There's no way in the world I was going to spend my hard-earned money on anything in the store today. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. See, you don't always have to be fancy. Work with what you have. You have something in your house that you could use Throw on it, use it. This is not the time where we're supposed to be spending a bunch of money. No, we're supposed to be very careful with spending our money now. If you got anything, hold on to it. Hold on to it. All right, that one is very lopsided, but I'm still going to make the best of it. Look at the chips. Look at the chips. The tortilla chips. Because that's all this is. That's it. That's all I'm going to do for now. If I do any more, it'll be off camera. What we're going to do, we're going to go over to the stove. And we're going to fry these little babies up. I'll be back. All right, so we back. Let's see if this oil is hot enough. It is. You don't have to crowd up the frying pan. I'll put one more right there. How many times we buy the tortito disc, maybe for tacos or um, burritos or whatever, and always got a lot left over. Now you know what to do with them.
This is what you do with them. So I know I be missing a lot, but um, now I was I was a little busy. You know, I work a lot, so it's not easy for me to put videos out like I would like to. But you know, doing the best I can with what I got. Okay, we just gonna let that brown up a little bit. You, it don't it don't cook for long, all right. Remember that it do not cook for long. Yeah, nice and brown. Let's get it. Turn the fire a little on. It should be on a medium high. That's my advice. But if you don't want it on a medium high, don't put it on a medium high. Leave it on a low low. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to come back when it's time for it to come out. And you'll see what it looks like. All right, taking them out right now, putting them on this rack so they can drain. I got a little distracted, so they're a little darker than what I really wanted them to be. All right, but soon as they come out, hit them with the salt. Hit them with the salt. Then we're going to drop some more in there. Or, you don't have to hit them with salt. If you don't eat salt, don't hit them with the salt. Uh-uh, don't hit them with the salt. Or if you got some powdered cheese, you can put it on there too. these I'm just moving these over so when I put the next batch up there I won't put more salt on them and I'm not supposed to really eat too much salt so I'm just gonna salt one side <laughs> They said less sodium, right? Right. That one got a little dark, dark.
All right. The last batch is going in right now. And again, if you don't want your chips that dark, don't make them that dark. Take them out sooner. I don't know if you can really bake these and get the same effect for people who don't like frying or you can just go ahead in the grocery store and buy them but although they have some that's fried in the, in the grocery store I believe This is just to give you an idea of how to do this. So, um, yeah, and that's about it. When I come back, we'll be testing it out, baby. I'll be back. All right, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Guacamole, 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 <laughs> and tortilla chips. We're going to give this a try. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. I gotta try that again. Wait. Uh uh. I can't believe it. This thing is so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. double dip because it's mine. Mm. Well. Ooh. This thing is good. So delicious. And I can taste the tint of, of spice, the cayenne pepper, just a little bit. Woo! It's dancing on my palate. But anyway, back to you guys. <sighs> this was easy. You could do this too. If you don't want to make the tortilla chips, go out and buy some. But the uh, guap, I mean, come on. I, I gotta let you get closer to this. Look. Look at that. Wait. Can you see that? My goodness is good. But anyway, I'm going to leave you guys for now because I want to really sit down and eat this. But please, like this video. Please give the videos a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell, the notification bell. So you know that I am making, or I have made a video. All right? Like, share, subscribe. See you next time, babies. Bye-bye. <laughs>